President of Mongolia, Hurs Hukhna, met with the President of the United Arab Emirates on November 28, 2023, in Abu Dhabi. The two parties exchanged views on expanding the relations between Mongolia and the United Arab Emirates in a wide range of areas. President Hursuh congratulated on the upcoming 52nd anniversary of the establishment of the United Arab Emirates. Within the framework of the meeting of the heads of state of the two countries, several documents were established to strengthen the legal framework of cooperation between Mongolia and the United Arab Emirates, including a memorandum of understanding between the governments on the exemption from visa requirements for diplomatic, official and ordinary passport holders. Uh, First, just two years have passed since we opened our embassy in the United Arab Emirates. Over these two years, we discussed what areas we should cooperate in and made preparations to establish many documents with the ministries of the United Arab Emirates. The United Arab Emirates has temporarily closed its embassy in Mongolia. At this presidential meeting, the United Arab Emirates decided to restore the embassy. A new ambassador is expected to be appointed from January 1, 2024. Second, currently, Mongolians have to travel to Beijing to get a visa of the United Arab Emirates, which causes much trouble and costs. Citizens of the Emirates also have to obtain a visa to travel to Mongolia. But now all kinds of passport holders, such as official, diplomatic and ordinary, can travel without visas. Of course, first of all, it will affect the tourism and business sectors. Third, Hunnu Airlines is set to start direct flights in December. Many Mongolians visit the United Arab Emirates in winter. The direct flight will facilitate travel for Mongolians, as well as businessmen of the United Arab Emirates. The two sides signed a total of six memorandums of understanding on cooperation in e-learning, as well as between institutions of the two countries, including media, science academy, the government secretariat and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. In recent years, the United Arab Emirates has been diversifying its economy and expanding its relations with countries. In particular, the country is paying much attention to the tourism industry. It has been two years since Mongolia opened its embassy in the United Arab Emirates. There are many opportunities for mutually beneficial cooperation between Mongolia and the United Arab Emirates. We have a lot to learn from this country. Among the Gulf countries, the United Arab Emirates has successfully developed its economy and managed to diversify its economy, getting rid of dependence on oil and natural gas. Opportunities have been created for active cooperation in the fields of tourism, food and agriculture. Cooperation between chambers of commerce and industry is crucial for this. The United Arab Emirates granted halal certificates and started importing mutton. This certificate was obtained as a result of the active efforts of the government of Mongolia and the embassy of our country in Abu Dhabi. Accordingly, mutton from our country is being sold in large shopping centers in Dubai. The United Arab Emirates side considers it possible to import organic and eco-food. The gross domestic product per capita of the United Arab Emirates is 50,000 US dollars. Agriculture accounts for 1.1% of the gross domestic product, industry accounts for 52%, and the service sector accounts for 47%. The country has oil reserves of 97.8 billion barrels, which means 5.9% of the world's oil reserves. Mongolia and the United Arab Emirates have friendly relations and cooperation. Since 2011, the United Arab Emirates has invested about 9.5 million US dollars in Mongolia, 89% of which in trade and food and beverage sectors, and 11% in tourism. For our part, we are focusing on the further development of our relationship. On the other hand, we are working together and supporting each other on many mechanisms of the international community. Taking advantage of the pleasant atmosphere in political relations, we are willing to cooperate in the areas of economy, trade and investment, education, digital development, artificial intelligence and green development. Furthermore, we are working on exporting mutton from Mongolia to Saudi Arabia. The two parties noted their confidence that the documents established within the framework of the meeting of the heads of state will push to expand cooperation between the two countries in the areas of trade, economy, food, agriculture, energy, mining, education, 
road transport and combating desertification. Also, the parties agreed to establish bilateral dialogue mechanisms and hold regular meetings.